and welcome to my channel and another Minecraft gameplay video. Um, why well, I've had quite the time. Um, I I had my heart set on making a gold farm, and then realized that an item that I need uh, is the nether quartz and I've never been to the nether so I was looking for options and I decided to go ahead and just get all the supplies um, that I needed based on a, another video on YouTube so I did that and then I needed to get the um, Oh, what's it called? <laughs> I need to get the uh, obsidian. So anyways, here's, here's what I got, right? I've got two buckets of lava, two buckets of water, um, obsidian, but I'm, I don't know how much I need to total. I got ten hopper. A mine cart with a hopper, a rail, ladders, a piston, a sticky piston, and then I need a, um, what do I need? I, give me a second here. Um, I need a, a redstone comparator. And I need an observer. Oh yeah, the observer is the one that also needs the um, oh man, I'm I'm losing it. The um, the nether quartz. So I've never been to the nether, and I thought that it would be like a more dangerous place and that you need to be at, um, I don't know, a level that you have, uh, you're able to cast spells or something like that, or maybe there are more additional powers you get um, as you build on your world. I, like I don't have any of those spell books or um, just, there's just so many levels to this, I can't even imagine. I come across it slowly. And it's a good thing that I had one of these tridents for the one that I want to build uh, for a gold farm. It doesn't matter how much damage you have on the trident. It'll work as long as you have a trident. So, I ended up Another thing that I did is someone mentioned, I know it's been mentioned before that I, you can feed the villagers. And so I would go over and right click on them with a loaf of bread and I didn't know what was going, it wasn't working. So for the farmer, I would, I would like put stuff in the hopper. I'd fill it up. I, I'm still not certain what that does. That, is that giving him supplies to trade when you fill up his hopper but then I'm like well you can't add stuff to these other trade trade workstations um, so then I, you know I saw the comment you just throw the bread down in front of them and they eat so I gave it a try and before I knew it I had three villager kids running around so I had a scramble to put beds, extra beds, and and then I built this. Um, I got these moss blocks, but I didn't have enough moss. One of these times I got lost in these caves. It was all green. It was beautiful. I don't even know if I can get back to, to that place. And uh, so I built this. And what I ended up with is a stone mason 
So the reason I got the stonemason is uh, I thought that the stonemason could trade nether quartz, but that's not the case. Um, let's see what they they got here. They have, uh, you have to give them nether quartz. I thought maybe this was like a two-way street. You could go, you know, put this in here and then say, I want to go, you know, this way and get the quartz, give him an emerald. But that's not the case. So I got a pillar of quartz. I thought then if I got the pillar of quartz, this would, this would change. And I thought maybe this changed depending on what you had to offer. I said, well, maybe if I have a pillar of quartz, uh, I can trade and he'll break it down in another quartz or something, but that's not the case either. So yeah, I got this guy, and that was this guy I got from the farm. Just rode him over. I, you know, I, I perfected that technique and got him into this house, matched him with the bed and the workstation, and that's it. But now that I've got these other, this other way of just, you know, feeding them and creating villagers, here's one here that has, has in a trade, he's unemployed. Where's the other one? That's interesting that there's one, two, three, okay, they're still here. They haven't been, uh, they haven't been gotten to by mobsters or something. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Oh, and then I went into the, into the caves again. And um, I have this bad habit of taking long stuff that I should not be taking. And I had all my diamonds on me after making a diamond pick. And I was getting obsidian. I was getting uh, obsidian, making obsidian at a lava flow. And out of nowhere, I got a mobster kicked me into the lava. I lost everything. And then today, I got complacent and the same thing happened to me again, but now I'm back to, I have my brand new diamond pick. I couldn't believe it happened to me again. So, that's, that's the update. I plan on making a portal and going to the nether. I have myself just a non-alcoholic ginger beer. At first I didn't. I thought it was kind of harsh. It's sort of, the ginger sort of burns the, the back of your throat. But it's acquired taste, I guess. Because I wanted to get another one. I actually got picked up too. Let me get away from the bees. Oh.
takes like a second, two, three, three seconds, and then you get the little bit of a burn right here. But so, the question is, where do I, where do I want to put the, the portal? Do I want to put it here? I'm really nervous about this. Should I bring a bed with me? Is Am I going to get attacked? Do I need to have a certain level of uh, armor or gold armor or diamond armor? Uh, well, let me just build a portal anyways. So, I just need obsidian. Which I already have. I can always break this down. So, one. I guess I was, I was just thinking if I should make it flush with the ground, the bottom one. One, two, three, four. One. Okay, 
so according to the video if it's a decimal point and it's five and above you round up so I need to go to um, thirteen. Yeah, so it was twelve point seven, so I need to go to thirteen. So that's it. Wish me luck.
turn it off. This is sort of like Stargate. Uh, do I have any? I got one here. I better write that down anyways. Minus 13. 65. First one. off. Well, that was uh, not 
not the ideal outcome that I wanted. I, I knew the nether must be a more difficult place to survive in, but that was ridiculous. I would then have to travel to the coordinates here to build this all by all during the whole time being attacked. So, yeah, maybe I won't even post this video. So thanks everyone for stopping by. And, uh, yeah, sorry, this wasn't the greatest video. But that's a true life experience of my first nether, my, my first, uh, uh, portal. And, uh, was not enjoyable. So thanks for your continued support and your comments. And appreciate all your advice in the comment section. Tell me what I need to do. Maybe I, is there a certain level that I need to achieve? What XP or something like that before I, or, or is there a certain um, tools that I need as far as armor and spells and things that I have to be proficient at? Or with before I venture into the nether let me know in the comments but until then everyone till next video uh, maybe I'll post it I don't know thanks for watching everyone bye